Paisley Reckdahl is an American poet, prose writer, and professor. She was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, and later attended multiple universities for both a master's and bachelor's art degree, as well as a master's fine arts degree. She has been named the Poet Laureate of Utah and is a professor of English at the State's University. She has publicized many works, including novels such as Imaginary Vessels, other individual poems, and essays. Her honest literature about the struggles and victories of humans in modern society has earned her multiple rewards and recognitions. This is her poem called Mortal Love. If we were immortal, the poet said, like the Greek gods, love would not be needed because time ceases to matter. Love needs urgency to be felt at all. At which the point I left the hall, hurrying home to cook his dinner and change the sheets, to sit a moment and rest before you came back home to me. Thinking all the time of the gods in our stories who, even with eternity to spare, loved which brought them into the human realms of war and murder, the chaining of lesser beings in pits of flame, the skinning of rivals, and the creation of children, sometimes beautiful, sometimes monstrous. The need for the shapes and skins of animals to disguise their desires, meaning that gods knew guilt too, and shame and jealousy. They knew, as we tell ourselves, about all the human emotions in which love is rooted, Self-love and love for spouses, daughters, sons, other people's wives, the love for ex-lovers too, those secret old needs flamed out but the ashes nursed out of respect for the failure. The gods loved because we wanted them to be like us. No, it is not an excess of time that would keep them from feeling it. Love embroiders time, moving in and out of what we imagine of it or what, if we were gods, we could finally know. For them, death is the thing that is expendable. Eternity means only that suffering can be withstood because it may be forgotten. We are the ones who must exist in the quick, sharpening and dulling of whatever wounds assert us as human. If we are different from the gods, it is because we are more afraid, our sweet, dim, ordinary pleasures necessary to assuage what can't be forgotten. An instinct, while well, theirs is an indulgence, and so our love is deeper, more frightening, more terrible than theirs. The gods loved, but they loved only like as us as they could. They could never match it, and they would never match it. It is because of all the things they loved, eternity would teach them to covet most their power and their will. We have these things too in abundance, but not time, for love needs no time at all. In this poem, Rechdal compares the values of Greek gods who are immortal to the values of humans who are mortal to change the reader's perception of mortality. She uses this comparison to show how a limited time on earth causes differences in our values and therefore our purpose of living as humans. She explains that love could lead to negative things such as war and violence, but it can also heal wounds, which is a symbol for life's bad experiences, and it allows people to gain a deeper understanding of themselves and others. This is shown through multiple literary devices through the poem. One of them is on line 26, where Rechtal mentions the ashes as a metaphor. She's talking about ex-lovers, how ashes, which are representing the life lessons that you learn from an unsuccessful relationship, you can carry on, nursed out of respect for the failure, which means you can carry them on in hopes that you learn from that in your next relationship. Um, Another example of symbolism is in wounds. Rechtal believes that wounds are very natural to humans, but the pain that they carry can be healed through mortal love. The purpose of the poem is to show the reader the true value of love and how limited time encourages humans to find happiness in it. Both time and love give life on earth a great purpose. Rechtal believes that love allows you to grow. It is a journey that is beyond just discovering yourself, but also discovering others. The vanity of Greek gods, who mostly cherish their own power and will, try to love, but they have no knowledge of it because of immortality. Rakdal removes the stigma that having less time is bad because it allows you to search for the true beauty and worth of love. There are other literary devices in the poem. Um, there's one in the very beginning where a shift is met by repetition. Um, in line 11, it, it's a very lofty tone talking about how Greek gods even 
with eternity to spare had time to love, which shows that love is very human-like. But as we begin to talk about the human realms of war and murder, there's repetition of the word the, which changes the pacing and also changes the tone um, because of the subject change. And there's not just symbolism for wounds, but there's also the personification of wounds. It's the line 39 says, sharpening and dulling of whatever wounds assert us as human. So here Rechtal is explaining that wounds are very human-like and that they declare us as humans because bad experiences are bound to happen. But then it also explains that love can heal the wounds or the bad experiences.